Hello everybody, you got a lot in here. Today we shall be introducing ourselves to understanding strategy. Understanding strategy. Corporate strategy, management and ethics, or what we can call corporate strategic management and ethics. At the heart of every flowering plant are the root systems that support it. Likewise, every flourishing business and life are deeply rooted in strategy. And with the right strategy, you can build castle in the air. With the right strategy, I tell you, you can build castle in the air. As the root system is for nourishment, strength, and support, so also is strategy to every business. It gives strength for competitiveness, expansion of the market share, industrial dominance, proactive and responsive innovation, which creates barrier to entry. And this is significant when we are talking of strategy. With the right strategy, I tell you, you can build castle in the... Welcoming you with this few words, what we should expect in this video. We shall quickly look through the 20 models. We shall summarize the topic strategy. Then we introduce ourselves to strategy. Strategy, like any other frontier of knowledge, many people had gone ahead of us and we shall be talking about Chandler, Drucker and JSW, that is Johnson School and Whittington, how they divide the subjects of strategy and their definition and their approach to it. We shall be looking at strategy, stakeholder and mission. That is, the lenders, the suppliers, customers, employees, employer themselves, government, all the stakeholders and how to manage them using their level of power and interest in the organization. Mission, vision, what is the purpose of company's assistance? Every company must assist for a reason. So what is the Reason for assistance. What business should we be doing? And these at the corporate level are the questions that people that are establishing organization must ask themselves and must equally have answer to. We shall look at business environments, the internal and the external factor, how they affect the organization. We must be able to scan our environment with tools like Pestor to help us a model to help in scanning through the immediate external environment and when we are talking about global competitiveness too we must look at how to scan it using Potter's diamond so we must be able to scan the legal environment how it affects our organization we must be able to write so scan the political environment, technology, how is technology envi environment affecting us, the ecological factor, the political factor. All these factors must be taken into consideration. Potter's Diamond specifically will help us to see and know how organization within the same industry but at different geographical location, maybe one is in Nigeria and one is in the US, why they prosper differently. We shall be looking at it. Competitive forces too shall be examined. The fragmented industry, emerging industry like the emerging economy, mature industries, declining industries, global industries and the life cycle model of products shall be looked at. Then we go on 
we'll go on to look at internal analysis as a model and under that we'll examine strategic capability using competitive advantages, core competence, resources, delivery mechanisms, SWOT analysis that is a bit a familiar terrain, value chain analysis that is the processes in which the organization add value to raw material to get finished product or final product or services. The primary value chain activity, the secondary value chain activity that is the supporting activity and how these help to satisfy the customer. From here we take a look at competitive advantage or competitive advantages. We will look at the five business strategy from the strategic clock as proposed in the strategic clock. No fuel strategy, low price strategy, differentiation strategy, differentiation strategy, hybrid of them that is combination of the mentioned, then focus differentiation will be looked at. Then we go into another module method of development that is business development product development among many other things we'll take a look at gap analysis the difference between the current position the organization is currently experiencing and where they intend to be how they can penetrate market that is market penetration product development market development and diversification to mention but not the least. Then we move on to strategy implementation. Say talk is cheap. It's easier said than done. So under strategy implementation we will look at outsourcing. Listen organizations outsource services or aspects of their business. Organizational structure will be looked at, then we we'll look at means bags five building blocks. Means bags five building block. It's important to look at that. We we'll look at business plan, performance analysis using balance scorecard, and under balance scorecard we will examine the financial aspects, customers perspective, business perspective. In form of efficiency and uh, effectiveness internal processes will be looked we will look at how can we innovate in an organization especially in this present day of uh, technology so innovation will be looked at and developments or as a way of development and developing products and services change and change management everything is changing and the only constant thing in life is change. So change and change management will be looked at. Then acceptability of the change proposed is suitability, visibility of the strategy that we want to use will be looked at. Then we'll go on to look at Gemini's four hours. Gemini's four hours. Then we'll look at McKinsey's seven S approaches. McKinsey's seven S approaches. We shall also touch on functional strategy as a module and under that we shall be looking at departments within an organization and how they are interrelated and work together motivation leadership marketing working capital investment decision then we shall examine risk how to identify risk how to assess risk, how to mitigate risk and the like, how to manage it, how to control risk, we can transfer it, we can accept it, we can do nothing about it. Okay. If you've been enjoying this, please don't forget to click the notification button and subscribe subscribe to us to James Associates
We have value to life, value to business. Please do it now. Let's move on. So we go into governance and the governance concepts as a whole. The scope, we shall look at the board of directors structure, responsibility of the CEO, the audit committee and their responsibility, membership and the like will be looked at. Composition, responsibility, remuneration, how they report, the reporting structure within the BOD, that is board of directors separation of ownership and power and control. Then we'll look at Nolan's seven principles of public life. You know, as a board, member of the board, the public life is very important to how we administer. So look at Nolan's seven principles of public life. Then we look at the rule-based, the principle-based governance approaches the International Code of Governance and of Corporate Governance in particular. The role of the board and how they can delegate the separation of power between the chairman of an organization, especially the big con conglomerate and the like, the separation of power between being a chairman and being the CEO appointment of a non-executive director and what are their job roles. Many of these we shall look at. We look at their remuneration, the purpose of their remuneration and how we can balance the BOD's remuneration package. The reporting and the disclosure will be looked at. Best practices around it will be looked at. Principles of disclosure and communication. Mandatory and voluntary disclosure will be looked at. Then we move on to ethics. Ethics, morality will be looked at. So we'll talk about descriptive ethics as a module, normative ethics and meta ethics. Ethics and social responsibility as a module will be looked at. We'll take a look at agency relationship, contractual relationship pattern listening that is from the word partner, father, fiduciary responsibility and relationship will be looked at, the several levels of social responsibility as proposed by Gray Owen and Adams will be looked at. Then the need for professional code of ethics, why as professionals or business owner, why is it important that we study ethics? and bring ethics to our businesses. We will look at it. Personal quality, how the, our personal quality affects our business quality or professional quality, our independence, threat, threat to independence of professional will be looked at. Then we go into another mode, conf, conflict of interest and ethics, ethical conflict resolution. That is how conflict of interest can arise, areas it can arise and how we can mitigate them. Conflict of interest and ethical conflict resolution. So we'll look at how to approach it using the rule-based approach, the principle-based approach, also model for resolving ethical conflict will be looked at. Social and environmental issues in business and in ethics will be looked at how business activity affect our ecosystem, ecological environments, social lives. The triple bottom line reporting will be looked at and social environment or social environmental audit will be looked at. Okay, this yours truly. So we move on to summary, having introduced ourselves to it and the breakdown of the module. Every master strategist understands this. Every master strategist understands this. 
that it takes holistic approach to strategy to function. And strategy basically has four dimensions to it, or four branches. The strategic management, the risk management, the governance aspect of it, and ethics. Positioning of business for long haul through vision, mission statements, management of the stakeholder is even of importance. We must always scan and analyze our environment and proactively respond to it. The legal factor, social factor, technological factor, all and many more must be looked at very well. How they interplay the competitive forces, threats from the potential entrants, that is new customers coming in into our industry, the threat from the substitute, the bargaining power of the supplier, the bargaining power of our customer, competitive rivalry, it will always happen. But how, what are the approaches we can take to respond to it and have a competitive edge? Competitive advantage, functional strategy, method of development, strategy implementation, because it's easier to say than do. do. So how are we going to implement all these strategic plan that, plans that we have? We must, we must take a look at it. Why strategic management is about running the organization or the business Governance of it, aspect of it is about seeing that it is being run properly. The personal ethics influences the business ethics and also the corporate ethics, and these in turn dictate public and customer perception about our products, services, and the organization as a whole, and how the business environment and customer environment is going to accept us. Okay, let's move on. In conclusion, oftentimes executives and students of strategy often confuse, if I may use the word strategy, with plan and of course strategy is or her plans but they are more than that strategy basically are plans that are customer that are competitive in nature and competitors focused strategy is all about focusing on the competitor and giving them work to do concerning our business strategy is always outward focused and at the heart of strategy is competition and that is the uniqueness of strategy from plan we can plan within an organization how to do things and the like but strategy affects directly the outward competitor and at the heart of winning competition is barrier to entry that is every organization must try as much as possible to debar new entrants to really gain easy access into our industry and as I close General Electric's GE of this world had a long time ago, even before Jack Welch becomes became the CEO, that they will not go into any industry. And if peradventure they find themselves in it, they will get out as soon as possible of any industry in which they will not have a leading market share. That is strategy. It's always outward focused at its heart is competition in mind and barrier 
to entry. By this, we introduce ourselves to the subject of strategy. Bengal Latinji from GG's Associates. I'll be signing off. Don't forget to like us, subscribe to us. We are value to life. We are value to your business. <laughs>